So the new update is out and I, I want to say Sona is even more broken now than she was before. And it is because of the new runes and because of the new way the game works. I'll tell you all about it during the gameplay, but basically late game champions are way better now. And they added a rejuvenation cup and the new runes. So I'm quickly going to talk about how you build Sona right now. There's timestamps in the description to skip to the gameplay. So with a support item, a lot of you may think that you should go for ancient coin, but if you look at the maximum stats of Asian coin, it gives you 125 maximum health and 15 ability haste. Now, if you compare it to the, uh, to the Spectral Sickle, it gives you a little bit less ability haste. It gives you 5 less. But instead of 125 health, it gives you 28 ability power. This one is going to be way better because you're going to have stronger healing, stronger barriers, which is, you know, I know 125 health is supposed to make you tankier, but think about it. If you have 28 ability power, your shield and your heal will get stronger too, which indirectly makes you tankier too. Not as much as the health, but this one also gives you way more healing and shielding and everything like that for your teammates. After that, you go for Tear of Goddess. Um, and after the Tear of Goddess, I still have to experiment whether it's worth to rush the Staff of Flowing Water or whether you want to get the boots, because the boots in the game right now are so good. Like, look at Ionian Boots of Lucidity. 150 health, 30 ability haste. 30. Do you know how much that is? Like, Staff of Flowing Water gives you 20. Boots give you 30. And it's not only it, it gives you 45 movement speed, of course, but this one, oh my god, it's so good. Reduces spell cooldowns by 15% flat. Just all game long, 15% lower cooldowns. I felt it, by the way. In the late game, my second ability was on an instant cooldown. Basically, I could keep, an ally, I could keep my allies shielded forever. Don't believe it? Just watch today's gameplay, trust me. So, for now, I'm gonna say you wanna go Staff of Flowing Water after the tier, then you go for the Ionian Boots of Lucidity. If it's six minutes into the game, which is very likely when you have all these items, you're gonna be buying this one. I am um, the Revival, the Revival Cup, it's called, I believe. It, 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 effect increases, uh, wait, let me just say it correctly. Your healing and your shielding gets increased by 20% in the entire game. How broken is that? So like your second ability, instead of giving 200 shield, it's going to be giving 240 shield all game long. So not only are you going to have like super low cooldown, not only are you going to have basically like infinite mana, you're also going to be buffing your healing and your shielding passively. So you don't have to activate it. So after that, you get Archangel Staff. This is for survivability because it gives you the shield. And then it's situational. Cosmic Drive is my personal favorite because it gives you movement speed and another 30 ability haste. When you get to Cosmic Drive, that's when you can um, spam your heals on cooldown, basically. Like, your allies are never not going to be shielded. You can spam it as much as you want. And if you get a blue buff as well, broken, okay? Broken, like broken. Next up, you go for a Rabbanos Deathcap. You can go Ardent Sensor as well. Uh, remember, you'll be you'll always be buffing your team with the Ardent Sensor, so like it's gonna be a really really good um, item to go for. But I like to go Rabbanos Deathcap because I'm a bit more of a selfish player because you're gonna do a lot more damage with the Rabbanos Deathcap. Never ever go Harmonic Echo. Never, please. I'm gonna say it again. Never. No, like just never. It makes zero sense on Sona. Lich Bane. Is not really worth it either. So when you finished your full build, you know, four items and um, uh, sp Spectral Sickle, you should wait before you sell it because the Black Myth Sit is going to be giving you 10 ability haste and it's going to give you 68 ability power and it's going to give you 250 health. So those stats are basically almost the same as like an entire item. So you have to ask yourself, do I really want to give up those stats for another item? The answer is probably no. So even when you do have enough gold, unless you really need an item, you should not sell the relics, the, the Spectral Sickle. Like, it will give you the same stats as like a tier 3 item. So, also remember, um, it gives you gold every, every minute, but you don't need the gold when you're full build anymore. So that's how you can ask yourself, like, do, do you need, do you still need this or not? Um... 
for the runes so here it gets interesting the first one is gonna be a airy you can go for phase rush as well but i prefer airy because it gives bonus shielding and bonus damage right here you want to go for the resolve uh, path and then here in the game i went for font of life font of life is going to be helping you earlier on in the game um to heal up you know just to do a little bit better in your lane but honestly i don't really recommend it i would say nullifying orb in this tree is going to be way better because you know the thing with so nice if you do get caught you can be very squishy and then the nullifying orb especially in the late game is going to be giving you that little bit of a bonus shield that can allow you to survive as a sona so this would be very very good on sona instead of the font of life you're st gonna struggle a little bit more early game but you'll be way stronger late game here you go for bone plating. Yet again, Sona is just is a painful champion. You can get caught. Bone plating is going to help you to survive that. It, it really, really will. Here you go for the most important rune, which is the revitalized rune. You gain a 5% amplification effect when casting heal or shield. By the way, I will make a rune guide. Don't worry. But first, I want to learn them myself. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I'm not going to make a rune guide just based on the text like some other creators have done you know that, that's just trying to get views i don't really care about that too much i want to learn them and give you a proper guide so i i do want to say it may take me a week or so before i make the rune guide but i'll promise you it will be worth it i'll know everything about the runes but just give me a little bit of time so it gains a five percent amplification effect when casting heal or shield so basically all your healing and your shielding is going to be buffed by five percent I think <laughs> if the target's health is lower than 40%, so if your ally's health target, uh, if your ally's health is lower than 40%, you amplify the effect by an additional 10%. So you're gonna be healing your ally up or shielding your ally that's under 40% health by an extra 15%. Can you imagine this plus this one? You're gonna have a 35% bonus heal and shield on low HP allies. How crazy is that? So last turn you go for Transcendence, because you're going to have a lot of mana uh, and you go for Transcendence to be able to spam your abilities even more. It's ridiculous, I know. So for your spells, you go for Ignite and Flash, and that is it about the build. Let's now get into the gameplay. Oh, what the hell is this? What? What happened? I don't really know what happened, but this game is going to be ridiculous. I'm playing with Darkbreaker, and... Unfortunately, I think Darkbreaker's router reset. So like the first minute of the game, he was he was lagging like crazy, which really put us behind into this game. And that gets me to my next point. Like late game champions are going to be so broken in this patch. I, I need to make a kill video, by the way. And you know why? If you look at if the enemy has a Twitch, you'll know they have a Twitch. OK, I'm going to say it like that. You will understand that they have a Twitch. So the question is, who's stronger late game? The answer is our team. Why? Because we have a Sona. It doesn't really matter what the enemy has. We have a Sona. We have a Sona. AP Kaisa is very strong in the late game too. So as long as I don't die to the Twitch, we should be fine. Right? Like we should be fine. So here you can see, early game Sona is the same as before. You just play it safely. And all you do is you just poke the enemy with your first ability. With the, with the Spectral Sickle. And that's it. As I said, in this game, I was running a Font of Life, which I don't recommend, by the way. Like, here you can see Font of Life. Sure, it heals me and my Kai'Sa up a little bit. But I would say it's not worth it. Nullifying Orb, I'm pretty... Like, Nullifying Orb is going to be much better. You want to have survivability. Because you need to remember as well, when you go for the Rejuvenation Cup, you can't go Stasis, right? Like, I've always told you... Oh, there you go. They invaded our jungle. He was lagging, yep. I've always told you guys... That, you know, you want to go stasis on Sona, but now you don't have a stasis anymore. Because you go for Rejuvenation Cup, you know what I mean? So, because of that, and this I did realize this very, very, very badly. You should flash. Yeah, there we go. Because of that, I realized you have so, like, so much less survivability on Sona. So, you're going to have to compromise with that by going for, you know, survivability runes, which is bone plating... And the nullifying orb just to try to make sure you stay alive even though you get caught you also have to be more careful now with sona because remember you don't have stasis like stasis was a big part of my playstyle i don't know about you guys but for me it was a major part of my playstyle which allowed me to get a 70 percent win rate on sona by the way um, um and if you want to maintain a win rate like that now it's going to be harder but more rewarding you may even be able to get an even higher win right now. Because Sona is stronger, but harder to play than before. That's, that's basically my conclusion right here. 
Ah, Twitch ganked. Oh my god. Okay. That was a gank from Twitch. He got another kill. That's his third kill already. This Twitch is doing a good job ganking everyone, man. <clears throat> yeah, so here I was contemplating whether or not I wanted to buy boots after my tier. But then I decided, no, I want to get Steph Flowing Water first. Because, I, I don't know, I, I want to get that first. And it was also a test. Like, I'm going to test boots first as well. But I think... On Sona, you'll want to get Staff first, right after your Tear of Goddess. Just because, like, it's not really about the stats with Sona. It's about the passive of the Staff of Flowing Water. Like, you constantly get ability haste, at, uh, bonus ability power, and you give it to all of your teammates as well. Like, as I said, it's about that. It's not necessarily about... Um... Oh lord, we're trying to get a gank. It's not necessarily about the stats that the boots give you. We're trying to get a good gank here. Boom, boom. Oh lord! Boom! Twitch gets an instant triple kill on us! Oh my god! Oh! That was an instant triple kill! Did you see that Twitch already has a rune on Zurichin three minutes into the game? And he just got an instant triple kill on us! Instant! Oh my god! That was painful! Okay, that was painful! Wow! Wow, wow! Ouch! Nothing else to say, just ouch. That one hurt. That one hurt like crazy. Oof. Wow. He just one-shot us. He just destroyed all of us like we were nothing, like a hot knife through butter. By the way, guys, I am doing a skin giveaway. All you have to do to enter is just put down a comment under this video. And if you're enjoying the video, Make sure you like it. You don't have to like it for the giveaway or anything because obviously I cannot actually check whether you've liked it, but it would support the channel a lot. So like, you know, if you want to help my videos get more views and everything like that. I did have a sponsor yesterday as well, which is all thanks to you guys too. Because you know, when a video gets a lot of likes, a lot of comments, a lot of views, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be more, it's going to be nicer for sponsors, you know? So you are directly supporting me by liking the video. You know? So uh, it could be a nice thing to do. <laughs> I'll make you videos, you give me likes. Can we shake hands on that one? <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. Like, if, even if you don't give likes, it doesn't really matter. Just enjoy the videos if you want to. Um, yeah. So now we need to change our playstyle in this game. Obviously, this Twitch is hella strong. And you know what our problem is going to be? Oh, that could be a good ult. I did wait for his ult, though. Now, this was a perfect ultimate that I used right here. Because I waited for the Zaya ultimate to go through first. Okay, nice. Oh, what a beautiful play by Yazan right there. Phenomenal, phenomenal Kaisa plays right there. I know this player as well from Vainglory, by the way. I've played with him all the way back in the days. He's a really, really nice guy. And clearly a good player as well. But as I said, this game, this is a very unfortunate situation. Because we have a Lee Sin jungle, which is super bad late game. Um, and they have a Twitch. Twitch is one of the strongest late game champions in the game. And Twitch is a problem for Sona as well. Especially AP Twitch. Because long range, he'll be able to reach me and basically one-shot me. Like, up until the moment I get my Archangel staff, I will get literally one-shot by the Twitch. Only when I get the Archangel staff and upgrade it into a Seraph's Embrace, I may be able to survive his engage. Because then I'm gonna get the shield, right? So, before that, I need to play this game very carefully. Very, very carefully. So you can see I'm trying to do that. I'm trying. But like, honestly, this one is already overextending. We shouldn't, like, yeah, he's right. I shouldn't be there because Twitch could have ganked me here and he could have killed me easily. So we just need to play it safely. Ooh, Dark Breaker is trying to gank again. He's trying to, he's trying to do something. Yeah, I, I, I like, again, I, tr I tried to do something here. It was a nice old... Like, how else are we supposed to try to look for a gank, you know what I mean? Like, I tried to do something like that. It didn't work, though, unfortunately. Oh, Twitch. I, I, I exhausted Twitch, but it's not enough. Oh, my God. What is that damage? You need to use your exhaust passive on the Twitch. Um, exhaust passive meaning when you use your second ability and the empowered attack is going to reduce the enemy's damage for three seconds. You need to use that one. Oh, he got exhausted. Oh, wow. Damn. This will be rough. This is like, this is rough. 
So yeah, you need to use it on the enemy hyper carry. You know, which could be a Katarina, which could be a Twitch, which could be a Jinx. Use it on the enemy hyper carry. It's really, really important when you play Sona to use this exhaust passive on the enemy hyper carry, which in this game is basically always going to be Twitch for me. I always need to be able to hit Twitch with that exhaust passive because reducing his damage by like, you know, by like 40, 50% is going to be game changing for us. Remember though, it won't reduce true damage. However, it's still going to be very effective because it'll reduce his physical damage that he's doing. Yeah, he had to flash over. It's unfortunate. But it's better than dying, you know what I mean? Oh, also, using your abilities resets your basic attacks. So you can attack wards very, very fast. If the enemy puts down a ward, Sona can actually instantly take down, take down the ward. The way you do it is if you have all empowered attacks, you do basic attack and you use any ability, another basic attack, any ability, and then another basic attack. You can do it very quickly on a ward and... Twitch is here again. I'm not even flashing because I'm just straight up dead. Unfortunately, I think he's dead as well. Yep. Wow, this Twitch is strong, man. This Twitch is strong. He's hell. Oh my god, what a champion, this Twitch. Wow, okay, okay. Now comes an important part of the game. Do you see that? Do you see the turret bounties, guys? These turret bounties are game changing. Look at how much gold I get. Fizz takes a turret. Look. Fizz took a turret. Everyone in the team got 300 gold. And the Fizz got 500 gold. So that's an equivalent of 1700 gold for the entire team from a single turret. Now, can you imagine if you take two turrets, three turrets? You'll make a comeback in the game. Like, I just got 300 gold. Also, I'm pretty sure if, if one of your allies kills an enemy with a big bounty, everyone gets gold from it. It does happen somewhere in this game, I believe. So we're going to have to pay attention whether, it, whether or not it does something. We'll see. But the turret thing is ridiculous. They try to FF, but uh, yeah. You know, when I play Sona, I never FF. Honestly, I don't think I've ever FF'd when I've played Sona. I don't really FF anyways. Almost never. But not, like no way I've ever FF'd on Sona. There's no way. I could have flashed on the Corky, but like, I don't know. It would have been too much risk. Okay, so look. Look at what me and Dark Break are doing right here. We're giving away the dragon. The reason that we're doing that is because we already took the first dragon. We are going to be pushing. So let's take a look at what happens right here. This is a free turret. It's going to give us the bounty, right? I go from 1100 gold to 1500 gold. Because we both shared the 150 bonus gold. Um, the bonus 300... The bonus 200 gold, sorry. So we both got 400 gold. And the entire team got 300 gold. We are taking another turret. Take a look at how much gold we're getting. How ridiculous is this? Look at it, I'm sitting at 2,000 gold. We both, we both of us just got 1,000 gold out of nothing. Sure, the enemy took the dragon, but my entire team got a load of, loads of gold. And especially me and Darkbreaker. I may have to flash, actually. Wait, there's no way he kills me, right? Okay. He would have killed me if I didn't flash though. But the gold we got, look, I'm 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 sitting on 2200 gold, guys. 2200 gold right now. Oh, wait, wait, he killed the Twitch. Wait, what happened? Did we did we get gold for his kill on Twitch? Wait, let's let's pay attention to how much gold I have. Because Darkbreaker did shut down the Twitch. Let's see if everyone did get gold from it. Let's take a look. I'm I'm paying attention to the gold when he engages on the Twitch. I want to see it. So currently sitting on 2150, 2150, 21, 2160, he gets the kill. Okay, he got the kill, he got a 1k bounty, I think I got like 50 gold from it. I did get 50 gold. Was that because of his skill? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I think, like, is that also a comeback mechanic? I'm really not sure. Also, taking dragons and barons and everything like that also contributes to the comeback, uh, comeback thingy, by the way. So whatever objectives you can take when you're behind, it will be massive for your team. And this, like, this really enables split pushing as well. Like, I can see how split pushing can be super good right now. Like, imagine you're playing Jax, your team is behind. You are pretty ahead, but your team is behind. You can just keep pushing turrets and you're gonna get exponentially ahead. And you're also gonna allow your team to come back into the game. 
Sounds ridiculous to me, honestly. It really sounds ridiculous. Ridiculously strong. But we're still we're still in trouble this game. Like the Twitch is still gonna demolish us. What can I say? I need a blue buff. I need a blue buff. Like I wanna I wanna be able to spam my bits. Oh! Oh Twitch is here. Twitch is here. Run! Twitch used ult, so that's good. Twitch used ult. Now we should probably look for a fight because Twitch just used her ult uh, his ultimate. Okay. Twitch? I exhausted Twitch. I exhausted him. Now he's not gonna do any serious damage. Yeah, there we go. I even got the bounty, which is really good. It's the ideal situation. And I'm, I'm trying to boost the morale of my team by telling them it's a free win. This will be a 27 minute game, by the way, guys. Just so you know what, like, just so you know what you're up to. It will be a long game. A long and painful game. I got a blue buff, which is so nice. Oh, I got the rejuvenation cup, blue buff. As you can see, my second ability is currently on a four second cooldown. When I reach level 13, when you upgrade your ultimate, it's gonna be on an even lower cooldown. It will be on like a three second cooldown. And then when I get to Cosmic Drive as well, it is gonna be at around a two and a half second cooldown. Which means I can shield, because the shield on your allies lasts for like three seconds. So if the cooldown is lower than three seconds, you can have perma shield on your team. As you can see, oh, there you go. Camille got another turret. That's 300 more gold for us. You just, you, you, you make a comeback so easily now. 100% they need to nerf this bounty system. It's ridiculous. Now, now we have no more bounties on their turrets. Because we literally made a comeback. We made the comeback. We don't have bounties anymore. Look at how strong Kaisa is right now. Oh my god. Oh, exhaust him. He is exhausted and Kaisa killed him. Easy peasy go. Okay, Twitch. Ah, I am caught, I am caught. Yep. If I got caught in the fire. Look at look at what my team is doing here. They're they're all focusing the Braum. Look at this. Why are you all focusing Braum? Kill the Twitch! <laughs> they did focus Twitch! Fizz is also trolling, by the way. You will see later on in the game, he's just straight up trolling. He's taking all my blue buffs as well. Like honestly, if Fizz went AFK. I think we would have won this game easily. I, I like Fizz is just trolling. You can see he's just trolling for no reason at all. Like no one did anything to him. No idea why he's trolling. Just, just no reason really. Like what the hell are you doing, man? Oh Twitch, I need to desperately try to defend, but Twitch will destroy me. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're, they're gonna get the dragon. There's really not much we can do about this dragon. But it's fine, because they only have two dragons. Two dragons is fine. Three dragons is a problem. But two dragons is fine. It's totally worth the turrets me and Darkbreaker took earlier on in the game. Like, it's totally worth the, giving that dragon earlier. Oh lord, he may ult me. Okay. I need to be careful, because my lifeline is on a cooldown. You can see right here. The lifeline is on a cooldown right now. I need to wait for the cooldown to go away. And then I can be a little bit more aggressive again. <laughs> Camille tried to steal the red buff from the Kai'Sa as well. I think these guys are duo queue. They're both just kind of... what I don't know what why the hell they do that. They don't seem to want to win the game. Now I can give my team perma shields by the way. Because I'm level 13. I can give them perma shielding throughout the entire fight. Like look. If I want I can give perma shields. I will, of course, during a fight. And when I have a blue buff. But you'll see, it will be a little bit hard to get a blue buff with this Fizz in my team. He did actually get a kill though, which is great. Now he should help us, but of course he's not. In a 4 versus 4, it's not ideal. 5 versus 5 is much better for us, because we have a Sona, literally. The more people are in the fight, the better for Sona. You need to remember that. You never want to do like 2v2s and stuff like that with a Sona. I want, I'm picking my team that I want to go back, because first of all, I have low mana. Secondly, I have a Cosmic Drive, which is a massive item for Sona. The cooldown reduction is crazy. And the movement speed, of course, which allows me to juke the enemy. <clears throat> oh, he's here, he's here! I exhausted him, he's exhausted. He shouldn't do a lot of damage, because he's exhausted. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we got him! Let's go! So I exhausted him first, then I stunned him. 
There's no way this Braum even has a chance of killing my Kai'Sa, by the way. Because I can perma shield my Kai'Sa. He won't be able to out damage my shield and healing. Nope. And now we get Baron. Now we get Baron, guys. Look at how oh, just look at how crazy this champion is. I love Sona so much. Ooh, if she can somehow ult him, it would have been great. Kai'Sa? Kai'Sa? Ah, I missed. I'm tanking. Kai'Sa? Oh, he didn't kill him. Okay, let's give him a shield. We're fine. We're fine. We are fine, baby. No more bounties, of course, because it, <laughs> it makes sense. We've already got enough bounties in this game. Yeah, I should go back. Get myself some mana. Oh, Lord, they're fighting Twitch. They should not even get close to the Twitch. Why are they even close to the Twitch? Yep, of course you're gonna die if you're close to the Twitch. Camille just dies. And she dies right before the Elder Dragon. Oh, man. We do have a Baron, though. And Fizz is half AFK, so we're basically in a 3 versus 5 situation right here. Okay, me and Kaisa should be fine right there. Look, just look at how strong we are together. Look, perma shield, perma shield. And she's poking them, you see? This is like a mess. This is a really good situation for us because she's poking them. I am constantly shielding and healing us up. So, like, the enemies are taking damage for free. Look at this shield, guys. Perma shield, how ridiculous. I've never had a perma shield before on Sona, only now in the new update. Never have I have had this before. Yeah, he takes my blue buff, this Fizz, by the way. He's 0-5 or 1-5, completely useless. And he takes a blue buff from a late game Sona. I mean, buddy, I'm not taking the blue buff for myself. I'm taking it for you and my teammates. If I have a blue buff, I can shield you more. You know, I can stun the enemies more. It'll be better for all of us. But yeah, he's, he's more concerned about trolling the game than to actually win the game. I don't think it's a good... Well, maybe we should take the dragon. Because Lee Sin should be able to outsmite Twitch. I am running out of mana now, though. Because I'm spamming my abilities. It's a bit unfortunate that I don't have a blue buff. But that's the one thing. If you want to have a perma shoot, it will cost a lot of mana. I need to avoid the Brahm ult. So I did flash out of it. Because if he hit me, they could have one-shotted me. So unfortunately, I had to use my flash to get out of the Brahm ultimate. Which means I don't have a flash ult engage anymore. Oh, there is a blue buff. There is a blue buff. Let's go. They are fighting without me, though. So, of course, they're dying. Yeah. Camille also flashed away from me. If she flashed towards me, I would have been able to save her. I'm trying to save him, which luckily worked. He survived as well. Yeah, now we just need to run away. Yeah, I mean, we did kill Corky, but two of our teammates died. It's not good. It's not good at all. Oh, no. Oh no! Okay, I'm fast enough with my third ability, which is great. I'm trying to bully them, but I'm Sona. The only bullying I can do is with my first ability, which really isn't that much damage. It's not a good Fizz ult, but Zaya is dead, which is great. Oh, 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 Twitch, Twitch! What is that damage, man? They're not focusing Twitch! Oh! What a champion, dude. Twitch is so stupid. He just melts us. He destroyed me. Did you see the damage that he did? What a ridiculous champion. And they got Elder. And they're taking Baron so fast. Oh, no. Oh? They're focusing the wrong target again. Nah, this is actually getting tilting. Why are they not focusing Twitch? Just focus Twitch, what did we have one job? If we kill Twitch, we win the game. It's, it's, it's so easy. It is so easy to win this game. So easy. Just kill Twitch and then we win the game. Because the only one that can kill me is Twitch. The only one that has enough damage to kill me is Twitch. No one else is a problem for me. Only Twitch. My team just has to stay with me, not go in alone, and focus Twitch. Just Camille ult Twitch. I will ult Twitch. And trust me, Twitch will not survive that. Yeah, he's trying to, he's taking, like, look, he's taking the blue buff, you know what I mean? And now he's gonna troll because I tried to take, the, look, look, look. He's gonna troll because I tried to take the blue buff. He's gonna run it down. 
But that's good for us. Because now at least he won't be able to take any more farm. Which is great for us. So this is actually better for us than when Fizz was playing. So now we do have a chance to win the game. Now that Fizz is actually not playing the game. So now all we have to do is just focus the Twitch. Oh, that should be a free kill though. Yeah, that's a free kill. And Twitch, we got Twitch as well. Very, very nice ultimate by, by Darkbreaker right there. He caught the Twitch. Very, very nice. I got my rabbit on death cap too. Look at just look at the healing I have. Let's take a look. It, it's how much was that? Like three hundred. I I healed for like three hundred and eighty health. Because remember, I have the rune and the rejuvenation cup. Right here, I thought I could deal with the Yone, but Yone just one shot me, which is not good. I screwed up. I completely messed up. I thought I could deal with the Yone damage, but hell no, I couldn't. He flashes towards him? Oh my god. I saw that was a bold move. They need to go on the Braum together. There's no way Dark Breaking can kill this Braum. There's just no way. Look at how tanky the Braum is. Oh my god. He's never gonna kill this Braum. Never. <laughs> Kaisa can kill the Braum though. Yeah, there we go. Kaisa should be able to just destroy the Braum. There we go. Very nice. What a game though, what a game. I, I really need a blue buff for the next fight. A blue buff would be so good. Here I was looking at the stats of the Spectral Sickle and I realized it's not really worth to sell it for another item. Even though I will have enough gold soon, I'm gonna keep it because the stats that it gives are very, very nice. It gives a lot of health, a lot of ability damage and it gives you ability ace. So why the hell would I sell it? <sighs> oh. I can save him. Man, that damage is just ridiculous. That is just ridiculous. I got destroyed. We get destroyed by the Twitch. How ridiculous is that damage? It took him three shots to kill me. Oh? Oh, okay. For, some, for one second, I thought Fizz would be useful. Wow. Now they need to hang on to this game. We did kill Zaya, so it's a three versus or it's a two versus four right now in for them. So they should be able to at least defend the game. And maybe we have another chance to attack them. But damn, the Twitch is serious business, dude. Maybe I need to make another Twitch video. I did make a Twitch video recently, but man, that is ridiculous, that damage. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. Alright, let's see, we need to stick together. I need the blue buff, that's number one. I, I, like, I, I'm, I'm even pinging, I need this blue buff. Before we fight, I, I would love a blue buff, but we, they want to fight because they're taking the dragon, which is fine. Okay, I'm, I'm safe, I just need to hit the Twitch with an exhaust. Oh, there we go, I stunned them all and Twitch is exhausted. Twitch is exhausted and he's dead. I exhausted Yone as well. Dogbreaker got the dragon. And we win the game, baby. We win the game. I'm 2 on 9. I believe Dogbreaker is like 1 on 8 or 2 on 8 as well. But we won the game together. Both of us with like a horrible score. But we did it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let's take a look at how much damage. I want to show you how much healing and shielding I did. You're not gonna believe that number. It is ridiculously high. It's really, really high. So I'll show it after this game. Don't worry. Yeah, we won. Easy win, baby. Easy win. No need to give up, especially in the new patch. The comeback mechanics are crazy good right now. So let's take a look at how much damage we all did and everything like that. I actually did a lot of damage as well. You'll see. Kaisa is the MVP. I think she deserves it. Look, I did 21,000 damage. It's like really a lot of damage. This is how much healing I did. 70,000 healing. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next Baldrift video.